Argus's eye. It's from the rift. The war against Galagons that opened the rift of worlds. If this falls into the hands of the Galagons again... <sighs> war would be inevitable. Oh, don't huh? worry. Huh? There are some special summoners <clears throat> among the new <clears throat> Rahil guards. <clears throat> Who are they? Oh, they're here. I brought them to sign the summon book that they'll receive. Welcome. Would you like to sign here? Congratulations on becoming a Rahil guard! <laughs> well, congratulations. Who's the best summoner amongst yourselves? Alright. Alright, so we got our choice. We got Kina, Orbia, and God King Cleef, so we are obviously going to be going with Cleef. Problem. All right. Affinity, calm, goofy, decision, sensibility. I love it. Zero sense. Full customization. Hmm. Wow. That's a nice... His pants are a little too skin tone for me. <laughs> Can probably change them. That one's pretty cool. It's Artemel vibes. That one's pretty cool too. I don't know, I like the Artemel vibes. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, I see, like little higher eyebrows. A little crazed, a little drugged. <laughs> There's way too many options that feel so similar. This is pretty solid. Is porcelain because that's me <laughs> it's pretty porcelain and then eye color oh I like the green oh I like the darker green that gives off so it's either that one or the brighter green they're both pretty similar let's go with the brighter green I got the outfit. I'm sure I get more outfits throughout the uh, throughout the game. Paladin God King Cleef. All right, here we got. He's got the little uh, the little saber. Why not be a mage? Because I want to be God King Cleef. I'm a tank player in every other game I play, so from what I've seen, he's kind of, quote, tanky. You can play all three of them, so, like, you build up one character, and you can switch over and build up the other character, so I'll definitely be trying out the other ones pretty soon. Hmm... Hmm. 
Oh, yes. Super He-Man vibes. <laughs> or, uh, what's his face from uh, Attack on Titan? Blonde character. I haven't watched that in a while. Armin? I don't know. I don't forget. <laughs> this is the uh, Use the Force Luke. Can't see. Let's see. We got anime protagonist. This one's pretty good. Hmm. This is tough. Oh, this is the uh, the Bakugo. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like the default one. That's my favorite. I'm going to go with that one. As far as hair color, I do like the orange. The yellow is very yellow. Ooh. I like that sort of autumn color. Right? Torn between the uh, default orange or like this autumn color. I like that one. I have to fix the stream settings. It feels like it's not as vibrant. Like it's pretty vibrant on my screen. It's not showing it to you guys as as vibrant. <laughs> All right, we're gonna create this summoner. I think this looks pretty good. Topher Smurf, God King, Cleef. Oh, that's the one I wanted. I forgot. The, these two outfits were similar. This is the one I wanted. The Artemel one. There we go. Oof. Almost press create summoner. With no pants. Well, I have pants. But... Alright, outfit three. That's what I want. Artemel vibes. With the power of passion, I'll protect everyone. How could such a thing happen when the scars of war haven't healed yet? Uh, have you found out why they want the relic? According to the ancient monument, it's related to the power of the rift. Not the power of the rift again. We must hurry. <laughs> Over here! Let's see if you're ready! Great! Uh, it's I'm on the village rule server. Protection spell. East Coast, uh, US. What's happening? Huh? Uh, uh. Take cover! Ah! Hold tight! You seem all right. Let's look for Professor Luna and your summon book first. I'll search above. You search down there. <laughs> All right, so I'm looking for Professor Luna. Basic tutorials here. Camera angles. WASD. Nice. Unable to use. I just rolled somehow. I'm not sure how I rolled. Okay, right click is that. Sort of ability there, nice. Some sort of shielding ability. Z is to jump. Unable to use. Oh, spacebar is dodged right now. Okay. And that is, I see, down at the bottom left of my controls there. I want to. I'm probably gonna switch this. Cause right now it's left click to move your camera and right click to do that. That just seems counterintuitive. I want right click. We'll get a spot here in a second. What does this one do? Hit. 
follow the waypoints. God King Cleave to the rescue. Hey, one hit, one shot. Ice Shield provokes enemies with a shockwave to reduce their attack. All right, so it's attack break and provoke. Okay. It's gonna be really interesting to see how they implement, obviously, all the buffs and and uh, debuffs from Sky Arena. So far, I've seen there's a lot of a lot of changes. Ugh. Ice double attack. So this is just heavy attack. Pathetic. Okay, we got to zoom in and zoom out. Okay. Roll. All right. F what for quest. Nice. Need is courage. Nice auto button. Heck yeah. All right. Need to find my summon book. I have this on auto. Why is it not going forward? Unless she just talks really slow. Fortunately, it's a cliff covered in sturdy vines. Nice. How to climb. Interact with vine. Yes. Traces of the ancients. Look over there. It's Leader Makalif's squad. Use the invasion skill to avoid this attack. Okay. I mean, so far the graphics are pretty clean. What we got here? all you've got, guard leader. <laughs> no, I've become too powerful. Is that the power of the rift? I won't be able to stop it. It's your turn, summoner. Summon a monster to fight together. What? Let's do this, friend. Do I get to choose who I summon? Or no, it just gives it to me. Artemel. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see. You stand no chance. I'll take you all down. <laughs> hey, use monster's skill. E. So Link. Sleep. There it is. There's the sleep. All right, cool. I'll get you, summoner. 
All right, so she's got the heal and the sleep, just like a uh, regular. So insufficient range. Oh, I gotta be right up there, Mister. Insufficient range. I gotta be really close. Darkness consumes insufficient range. Oh, I guess she ain't gonna move. Unable to use the heal, shield bash, finish him off. Quick, move it. Help the leader. So far too early to tell. Good game, bad game. Unleash yourself. <laughs> I mean, so far it's fun, but again, it's just a tutorial. It is a, you know, a mobile port, pay to win grind fest, so we'll see. <laughs> Stop him! <laughs> nice, air tube. Can I have him? Oh, he's one of the bad guys. Interesting. Okay. The mouse sensitivity is really weird. Hang in there. I'm already a natural. Summon a monster to fight together. Nice. No scrolls needed. Right, new monster gore. Uh, I found another entrance. Hop in. Uh. I've never seen a Galagon summon a monster. Hmm. It shows how strong the power of the rift is. I'm afraid the traps in this temple won't work against that Galagon. Please stop him. So he gets to summon LD Nat 5. I get a water three star and a water probably two star. Okay, Ancient Ruins Razor. Time to end this. I'll crush you. First boss. Too much for a Galligan. Uh, for a Galligan? That's nothing. 
I have friends of my own. Take him down. I'll kill you as I wish. Yeah. All right. Is he sleepable? The target is too far away, unable to use. Insufficient range. Unable to use. Let's switch to him. Insufficient range. Not enough summoner mana. Lots of summoner mana for that? Okay. Sure is shoulder strike. Sufficient range. I know. Okay, so I broke something. Insufficient range to use. Insufficient range. Insufficient range. Okay, he's got invincibility up. So I need to use Gore's ability. He keeps moving around. Insufficient range. Oh, I can't switch back. Insufficient range. That's gonna get super annoying, that insufficient range. Switch back to this guy. Or get up next to him. Insufficient I am range. using it, but it's not taking it down. Am I doing something wrong? Let's try the, the wind one. Unable to use. Insufficient range. Not enough summoner mana. He's got invincibility on. Unable to use. Okay, so I used it. Oh, okay. Maybe he wasn't in range or something? Kept using it. Okay, so that's all finally. There we go. Now we're actually getting some work done. Unable to use. Insufficient range. I'm gonna have to turn that off big time. Unable to use. I got defense break on. I guess I could switch to Lucia and do Q. Unable to there we use. go. Controls are pretty clunky. It's all because of you. My plans are going wrong. That ball of rock can't have the power of the rift. Watch out! Yeah, I saw this, the, the anime artwork animation. I've heard this is really solid. They should stop making games and just do the anime. <laughs>
Welcome to Rudolin. I figured this would be the starter world. Quest can be accepted right away by pressing the quest title. And proceed automatically. Auto questing. Okay. Alright. Cool, I didn't want to play the game anyway. So we can do other things while we're auto questing. And spend all of our money. Nice. Yeah, Mars. So we get do you get a free thing? So what do we get? Crystals. Rare currency found only in special areas. Enhancement shards. Are you okay? You just fell from the waterfall. All right, back to auto questing. Registration. Watch out. You have to move carefully. So we're looking for a necklace. So we get our currency here. Commonly used currency gold. Okay. Try using monster skill. Select the accompanying monster to soul link with it. Use soul linked monsters skills. Of course, mana is required. Okay, soul linked gore. Level two. Cool. All right, keep going with the quests here. Watch out! You have to move carefully. Get rid of the forest mushies. Insufficient range. Insufficient range. Unable to use. Insufficient range. That's got to be the first thing they got to fix. Insufficient range. Yeah, I got it, Father. We'll definitely have to see. Insufficient range. It definitely feels like it's got the potential to be fun. Some of the controls being super clunky is, is pretty annoying. See if I can turn that voice down, that insufficient range. Hold on, I saw it earlier. Sound. Is it under voice? Let's turn that completely off. Let's see if it works now. Oh, perfect. The day one setting tip. Go on and turn voice to zero. Okay, so so far I like the opening of the shield bash. It gets me in range. There we go. See, insufficient range, but no annoying lady. Alright, let's go see Philip.
got more stuff to collect here. We got a scroll to. Okay, three to five star. All right, what's up, Philip? How are you? Teleportation device. Nice. Okay. Account level up. Okay, gotcha. So it's sort of like prestige points or whatever for the whole account. Okay, level three on Cleef. Get the rest of our stuff here. We got Barracuda dish. So attack plus 80. Okay, so they're bu food buffs. Raises monster XP. Okay, so those are level up things. Count level achievement reward. Got more shop stuff. Play. This is free, so I'm going to get the free thing. Make sure to get your free thing every day. Okay, there's the daily free gifts. Got a oh, there is a claim all button, so that's good. Nice. What else we got? Skills. Oh, that's kind of cool. A little tutorial. Shield bash. Ooh, what is that? Ice shock. When do I get that? So I do have enhanced skill. I don't know if I want to do it just yet. I feel like double attack is probably pretty good to start. Or just the basic attack. I wonder if I can get rid of that. Oh, there's also passives and utilities. Recharges evasion skill up to one time. Protection shield, continuous effect. Damage taken, monster damage taken. That seems pretty good. Attribute research, water research. So, you'll get different weapons throughout the game. And I guess those weapons are based off of the different elements. So I do have a, a skill. Probably going to put it into double ice attack. Okay, so I have six skill points. Okay, so I press... The level up skill and then it takes me to this window okay so i can switch out Are these the attributes interesting oh okay so all right different skills based off the different elements um let's see utility so, check the acquisition conditions. Oh, I got to reach summoner level 10 first. Can I do it with this? Summoner level 6, 8, 12. Okay, so I got to level up all that stuff first. Do I passive? That's level 5. Or I can just obtain skill. Increases defense of team monsters if your HP is below a certain ratio. Enhance skill. Master of Evasion. Charges evasion skill every 13.5 seconds. I like that. Evasion's always good. Just a passive. Do you have other things? Enhance. That seems reasonable. Iron Shield. Okay. What is this? Monster. Okay, so we can go and level up things. I don't know... I don't want to just keep using the monsters. And I don't want to level them up right away. There's the runes. Deal with those later. Okay. So it looks like they just want you to complete the quest stuff first. Here's our teleportion device. Activated that. Gimme, give gimme. Give okay, more level up. Monster upgrade. Level up your monsters. Okay, so we got Angelmon, and then these 
crystals or these containers. XP potions. You can reset your monster upgrades and get the currencies back if you use restoration stones. Okay. Guess that's kind of nice. Okay, so let's level up some monsters. Alright, try the XP. Okay. Did I just use this one? So we got her to level three. How many of these do I have? Oh, okay. I have a lot of these. Let's get her level five. Let's get Gore here to level five, too. Cool. Collecting evidence. I'm looking for the Argus Eye. It's a necklace shaped relic. Need to go see Plano. Watch out for slimes. Oh, it even fights for me. AI is better than I am. Is this like a battle pass? Or no, it's just levels. Okay, it's just level achievements. Okay. Ooh, we get mounts. That's good. What do we got? Talk to Plano? Oh, I was just waiting on my monsters. Okay, so it waits on your monsters. What's up, Plano? He's a scholar. Cool. I feel like I do care about stories, but then again, you know, I don't. Check the account level. Have to enter account level. Summoner and monsters get stronger as we get. Okay. Achievement rewards. Makes sense. It's a story about Garuda Hunter. We're hunting Garudas now? Sunshine Garuda. Defeat the Sunshine Garudas. So we're going to defeat six of those. Nice, I'm going to have to fight. Shylock. Count level achievement award. Magic shield. I don't like how it gets you out. That's dumb. Hey, thanks, Diego, for subscribing. Glad to have you with us. Summon. All right, monster summoning time. Hell yeah. Okay, I can summon with scrolls. 
Okay, if you get monsters you already own, they will be converted into pieces. Pieces can be used for various upgrades for the relevant monsters. Mystical scrolls. First time, baby. Five star. Okay, four star. Epicon Priest. Epicion. Oh, I do have another one. Got two. Big money. Yeti yeah, design's pretty cool. Mystical mileage. One legendary skull after getting 70. Okay, so it's a little bit of a pity. There he is. Thanks, Diego. <laughs> do I do have one more? Okay. wonder if it's like the other games with the color or something. All right, so we got Golem, Epicon Priest. There's three. Okay, cool. Of course, you can summon for crystals. Times 10 on crystals. I mean, honestly, Godfather, it sounds like the monsters are pretty different. Um, I've seen a couple of like, tier lists and uh, from Korea server saying what monsters are good and whatnot. And a lot of monsters that are good right now are like... There's a lot of four stars that are good, right? So... Honestly, I just kind of want cool monsters. Um, my box is pretty heavy in Sky Arena, so I've got quite a few monsters there. Who would I want, though? I mean, there's like over a thousand monsters in Sky Arena, and there's only like 300-something, I believe, in this game. So I don't want to say a monster and then it not be in here. Probably have to go to the collection and see that. All right. Altar's Blessings. The drop rate of monsters will be increased when the altar's blessing is active. So if I select that, I did. altar's blessings. So, okay. I don't know if I want to do that just yet. Well, let's save it. Registering. Okay, whatever that means. Figure that out later. Alright, so that was summoning. Did a couple summons. We got new monsters here. Epicon Priest. Power 647, power 790. Yeah. Power level up here is definitely quite higher for four stars. What does she do? God, tax the enemy target. Raise the staff to recover HP of nearby allies. Invincibility to team members in itself. <laughs> um, applies invincibility to nearby allies. Invincibility seems cool. Um, so she's got just cleanse, she is just heal and invincibility. I don't know, it's a four star, so I'm probably gonna put put stuff into the four star. Well, we're gonna go level up. Let's get her to level five at least. Put her on the team. More enhancement of skills here. Magic shield. Increases resistance of team monsters if your HP is above a certain ratio. Sure. All the all the passives need all the passives. There's those scale, so always passives. All right. All right, let's go find some hellhounds. Count achievement award. Ooh, five more scrolls. 
I'll have to save these up for a little bit of a summon session. Okay, there's the invincibility. Nice. It doesn't last too long. Really need to time that invincibility for maybe bosses or something. Investigating the Fallen Fairy Forest. Yeah, Desert Queens are always pretty dope. I have a... Uh, in Skyrim, I have Bastet and Sekhmet. Oh no, I have Hathor too. Yeah, no, I have all three. Obviously not the LD ones. Yeah, Justice, the game is auto, or at least, you know, the questing part of it. Which, to be fair, we'll see. Early game auto stuff through tutorial stuff is probably fine. Um, you can probably auto through dungeons, too, later on. Um, but there will definitely be some manual content, like the Trials of Ascensions or the Tower of Ascension. I'm sure it'll get pretty difficult. You'll want a manual. Okay, what are we auto-equipping? We have a wind weapon now. Okay. Use attributes wisely to deal greater damage. Yep, there it is. Okay. So, wind beats water. Water beats fire. Fire beats wind. And then light and dark pretty much cancel each other out. Attack water creature with a wind weapon. To switch weapons, click the change equipment button. Okay. So, it N... And then I would select that attribute. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I got it, Father. My Sky Arena is... <laughs> Just because I played a WoW doesn't mean I'm good. I've only ever gotten to C1 in Arena, so... Or, er, RTA. I, mean, I played a decent amount of Genshin too, and I like what Genshin has to offer. There's a reason it's like the most popular game right now. More skills here. Enhanced skills. What do we got? Another passive? Mental Discipline. Charges mana up to 8. Ooh, I want that. Okay, what are these? Ele okay, so we got an elemental. Is that what that is? Okay. You can quickly summon from Summon Altar. Summon Altar is now open. Oh, so I can just go straight to the summon altar. Okay. It's handy that you can come here directly, right? Haha. -ha. Well, yes. This is where you pay money. Monster piece summon. Okay, so we got pieces towards a specific monster. Unknown monsters can be summoned by collecting monster pieces. That makes sense. Yeah. No. New monster contract. I talked to Gerald real quick. Hmm. 
Neil Galligan's. Kirkshill was also there. Alright, cool. Cutscene. Oh, that is true, Godfather. Yeah, the playing with friends. I've got one of my good friends. He's a G1, G2 player in Sky Arena. He's going to hop on later today. Automatically cast skills. Skill UI can be hidden. I guess once I get good with my monsters. Settings. Well, I'll level up monsters when I see I need to. Another passive. Cards up mana, yeah. I wanted this one. Discipline. So, faster mana. It's this one. Tenuous effect. Increases damage taken. And it just increases its power. Okay. I like it. I like it, Picasso. Commander Mykoliff? Is that the name of the guy? Gray haired guy earlier? Moving to portal. Okay, it's got like the distance. This is Castellan, right? City of Castellan. Alright, check in rewards. 50,000. Cool. And we got all the, the banners and events here. What is this? Alright. Let's see. Shannon, right? Yeah, Shannon. Rahul Guards Chronicles. Getting the story. What is this? Path of Growth Ticket. Used to additionally to enter the Path of Oh, that's right. So we got the tickets to enter. It's like energy, right? In Genshin. You got tickets to enter the dungeons. So, this will be part of your grind is going through these Every single day, collecting all your stuff. Nacia Summoner's Way. Playtime reward. Okay. One of these things. Unknown scrolls, one to four star. Interesting. Okay, so you can get all the way up to four star with these. Definitely have to do a little summon session towards the end. All right, let's move on. So I could auto, it looks like, to some of these merchants. Summoner's Pass menu now open. Summoner's Pass. Earn Summoner's Pass points and claim rewards from here. So this is probably like the Battle's Pass. So, okay. Valkyria pieces. 
is just one piece? Or is it a whole Valkyria? Uh, next man, is it playable on APK? Um, I'm not very familiar with all the Android stuff, um, so I honestly don't know. Probably do a little research and, and find out, maybe. Um, I know you can do it Google Play Store, iOS Store, Steam, and I believe they also have, like, a Windows launcher. Ooh, we got a bunch of these Summoner Pass points. Okay. <laughs> What do we get? Breath of Life, a marble that contains pure energy of a sprouting plant. Energy is ideal for monster evolution and awakening. Okay, so that's the awakening and evolution. Count badge increases account level. Yeah, dungeon tickets and level up materials. Alright. Go see Joshua. You want the magic council to help you find the Argus Eye. Competition mineral of rumors? Huh, I'll I'll do that. Do that kind of stuff later. Alright, so I got a ride. You can check rides in the menu. Ride. Get on. <laughs> we'll move faster on a ride. Select one of the rides you own on the list. Let's get on. Ride button will appear on the bottom left. Nice. Okay. Nice. Good God, King Cleave. All right, we're going to go find Kota. is the Rahul Kingdom story. Oh, I guess we're going into a new area. Born a goblin town. So we are 400 meters away. Kind of nice to know, so you can hop in and do what you need to do. There's Shannon. And I guess we'll get runes later in the dungeons. We'll have to go farm the dungeons. I'm going. You just got to get near the teleportation device to activate it. Ooh, dungeon time. Earns runes, scrolls, and gold in the dungeon. All right, who are we taking with us? I mean, top three. Okay. Confirm the settings. Oh, it looks like we can do some preset teams down here, so that's good. Down at the bottom. One second, boys. Okay. Treasure boxes, headstones, battle start. So we're in Goblin Town. Eh. 
Dang, they're gonna eat her. Kota. Smash some goblins. When the drummer starts beating the drum, it receives wrist protection and becomes invincible. The drummer's invincibility is removed when you defeat the goblins, so don't miss that opportunity. Quest dungeon is carried out manually. Alright, so there you go. To answer your question earlier, um, Justice, it's definitely like some parts have to be manual. So it looks like dungeons are only manual. doing his thing. Let's go defeat some goblins. Got treasure chest. I think they're water. Yeah, so the wind mace is better. Nice. All right. sound in the deep. Okay, so different elements definitely do have different abilities. Alright, come here, boy. That, okay, so there was this chest back here. I need to figure out how to get that. Whoa, what we get? Endure runes? Alright, kind of weak start. But who knows? You know, the lower runes in Skyrim might actually be useful here. The drum sounds. I got stunned. This is big boy. God, I'm so happy I turned off the voice. Alright. More chests. Welcome everybody, everybody that's joining the stream. Okay, there we go, big boy. Get the buffs up. Okay, I see, so similar to Lost Ark, the health bar up there. Okay, 
Okay, so he charges, so bad time to use that. Oh, he's got the invincibility, so I gotta use Gore's thing. So Gore is skill Q skill here. Skill four. Alright, Gore. Alright, I got it off, nice. Got him. Hey, got the invincibility off again. Nice, all right. Goblin slayed. Make sure there's nothing around here. All right, we got Kota. What's up, bro? Where's my quest reward? Oh, you were on the airship, okay. Count level up. Just clear. Okay, so your monsters do get experience for fighting, so you don't have to just use the potions. What's up, Josh? Okay, we got another scroll. You can find the guard journal. Adventure record. Record all adventures, chapter one. Okay, so this is just sort of like account achievements. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Selective summon. Mystical power of mana foretells a monster. You can choose the foretold monster. So that's going to be important. Ah, more quest rewards. Claim all. 10,000. What else we got? Sk more skills. I feel like we're going up against a lot of water right now. So I can increase the basic skill. I feel like that's probably worth it. I don't know. I don't think I can get rid of the basic skill for another skill. So the switches between the elements. When do I get this? Oh, summon a level eight. All right, let's enhance the basic skill. More DPS. Okay. Flies reflect damage to nearby team members when a team monster's HP is below a certain amount. Okay. No, I like that. A little bit of extra reflect damage. What we got here? Concentration. More mana charge. We want more mana. Mo mana, mo skills, mo damage. Okay, we're not ready for the summon altar yet. I'm gonna save that for later. So I hope you guys stick around for a big summon session at the end. Okay. Or things. I feel like we're gonna constantly be clicking. What do we get later an LD piece? Oh, Amazon. Dark Amazon. Okay, where are we going? Oh, they want us to summon a monster? Alright. They want us to do the selective summon. Okay, I'll make sure we get this right. Selective summon. Is 
We got our choices. Really? Really? Please tell me that's one of the options. Come on, Theo Mars. <laughs> yes, Theo Mars. I guess we get we get resummons. I don't know. We just got DMRs. Like, are we turning that down for our resummons? I don't think so. I was looking at somebody's uh, tier list from Korea server, and DMRs is right up there as S tier, so I think we are definitely going with DMRs. Heck yeah. Alright. Yes, confirm, summon. I'm just making sure. Ifrit. Oh, I can hold off on that part? I mean, I got the MR, so I don't know if I need to. <laughs> Thanks, KY. Yeah, I, I'm glad. That's that's crazy awesome look for, for summon. Yeah, I don't plan on spending much money, if any. So, I don't know. There's the Water Ifrit Summon. I don't know. I'm gonna t I'm, There's going to be another banner. So, I'll save up some of my summons for another banner since, you know, hey, I got him. But, yeah. That's right. He is on the banner. He's got another third. So, two weeks of the MRs on the banner. I'm pretty happy though. Theo Mars is OG. Hey, you just got a monster. You want to spend money? I nah, will wait. All right, weekly challenges. We're going to go level Theo Mars up here in a second. What are these? Rune enhancements. Okay, so level up runes. Okay, by selling runes, you get those. Okay, cool. Adventure record, summon a monster. Okay. I want to go level up the MRs here. Yeah, Godfather, I think, like, you know, I'm just going to take the awesome luck um, with the Amars here. S tier character. I'll just call it a win. Save up the summon, so we'll do a big summon session at the end. Hopefully we'll get another one. Another five star. All right, let's level him up. Honestly, I see no reason not to just dump stuff into th the Amars. Like, he will absolutely carry... I have so much of this, too. Can I, like... I mean, okay, let's hold off. Let's not get too carried away here. <laughs> level 30. Yeah, level 7. I still got tons of these. Let's just leave them there for now. That'll be, that'll be plenty good. Okay, I can click on that. More scrolls, three to five. Nice, okay. If I summon 200 times. Okay, so there is like a pity on that. I wonder like how much, how many scrolls I could get in like 14 days, KY. Like, you know, by the end of his banner. I don't even know like what's a reasonable amount. I imagine like you get a decent amount just doing the quests and stuff early on. And it probably slows down later. So, I just saved myself 200 scrolls, right? 
Okay, more rewards. I feel like this is gonna be half my life just clicking on rewards. But that's what that's what gets people, right? People love clicking on rewards. I don't blame them. Okay. Let's go talk to Josh. What's up, Josh? You met Scarlet? No. Let's go see Scarlet. Um, Sona, are you looking to like play it on mobile? Or you look I'm playing on PC, so I just went to Steam. It's free. Uh it should be Google Play Store, um, iOS App Store, um, Steam. And I thought I heard that there was like a Windows, like their own launcher for Windows. Let me know how it goes, Sonar. <laughs> Okay, so let's replace. Save. Okay, save changes. Cleef is level eight now. Okay, so let's replace Gore. He's sort of what tank damage, and let's just do straight damage. And then we're gonna save. Oh yeah, so that's one of the big things, Soner, is that um, everybody in the rest of the world is mad. Right now, it's just a U.S. and Canada release. Korea already has the release as well. Um, I'm sure if you hopped onto a VPN, uh, I'm sure there's ways to get around that. Um, get yourself a decent VPN, VPN into U.S. or Canada, and then I'm sure you could download it. I know that's how a lot of people are playing the, uh, the early release Korea version. Uh, yeah, I can try to look at... Let me see if I can pull that up here. Wait a second here. Make sure the game is captured properly. Let's see if we can pull that up real quick. I was looking it up a little bit, trying to make sure that I picked the right people. So obviously it's pretty early. Uh, a lot of people have some of their own opinions. I'm gonna be making my own tier list eventually here. Okay, this is the one I saw. Let's see if I can get it over here. This is the one I saw. Uh, Zaros, Vertiheel, Arad, Theomars, Teshar, Talia, Skogol, Sigmaris. This is, uh, I just typed in Summoner's War Chronicles tier list. This is from LD player. Uh, Mav, heck yeah. S tier Mav. Hurtet, no kidding. So you'll see, like, I've seen a lot of lists, or like two or three lists now, and they're all like a lot of four stars or, or, or monsters from Sky Arena that aren't like, you know, the greatest. Um, like stuff like Bella Dion, Beretta, Bernard, Bernard, like all those guys are great early game characters, right, in Sky Arena. Um, but they're obviously evidently S tier here. Um, obviously, this is one person's opinion, but I've seen a couple lists now, and they seem to <laughs> cross over on the other lists a lot. So. No, that's no trouble at all, man. We're all learning together. Quick slot. Okay, so for food. So we've got... Leaf level 9. I'm pretty sure I got some skills I need to level up. Continuous recovery potion. Continuous recovery soup. And food. Oh, did I just use food? Continuous recovery potion, soup. Let's go with soup for now. And I also got this one. Let's do that. 
So those are bracket keys. All right, let's go to the grasslands. Talk to Kano. A Banyan pilot. So the Banyans, I don't know if you guys saw the one of the trailers. It's like the little raccoon furry looking dude, but they're like uh, inventors. They're from the, uh, the lava region. I'm excited to get there later. All right, let's go find Miller. We got some more rewards along the way. What is this? Obtain? Oh, I see. You only got a certain amount of time to buy. Level up your skills to acquire new skills. You can acquire various utility skills, such as increasing the number of evasions. Uh, let's go look at skills here. You get unlimited resets until level 60. Interesting. That's kind of nice. You don't feel that, you know, FOMO. Um, let's see. Could do Windrush. Castle's HP is below 50% defense up. I don't know. I just think passive skills. I want to get all the passive skills. Means ultimate gauge. Oh, okay. This is ultimate. This is your ultimate, I think. Yeah, there it is. There's my ultimate. So, cool. Count achievement award. Lots and lots of scrolls. So I know, like, when you summon another monster um, of the same type, you get the pieces. Is I'm guessing that's the same if I were to summon Prothea Mars again. Like, if I did want to summon on the banner. I don't know. I think I'll probably just either wait or just do regular summons. Alright, let's go. Where are we going? Put his airship. Talk to Miller. Forest Goblin Scout. Going back to the Forest Goblins. More quest rewards. There's my Theomars boy. Well, wow, he's Ifrit right now. I gotta awaken him later. Absolutely decimated. Dude, Theomars is just gonna carry me through this game. Get back on our, our bear. Okay, got a new weapon, it looks like. Francis. Let's go see Francis. Enhance equipment. Enhancement shards. Okay, so enhance your weapons. I do like that there's a pretty big emphasis on your summoner. Boom. You've got enhancement material. Let's enhance equipment. 
Enhancing is pretty easy. Select the equipment. Premium enhancement shards to enhance equipment. So let's enhance. Okay, 80 gold. Not too bad. I wonder if there's tiers of enhancement. I don't want to enhance too much right now because I want to save up some of those premium shards. Wind research. Learn how to wield weapons of wind and increase damage dealt. Dealt with some of attacks with wind. This seems nice. Let's do the water one too. All right, more passives. Blessings Keeper. Okay, more healing. Recharges the evasion skill up to two times. That seems seems very good. Just more, yeah, more defense, less damage. We got in the mail. Grassland do blunt weapon. Let's claim that. It is a one star. Accuracy is up 1.8%. Yeah, KY, okay, it's it's crossplay for everywhere. Let's get going to the next place. Teleporting back. It's nice. Michaeliff. Man's a Chad. I aspire to be him. New dungeon for growth has opened. Alright, so is it dungeon time? Path of growth. Okay. Obtain monster pieces in the path of training. Okay. You can get XP potions for completing the dungeon. Seems good. I mean, it's all water ones, so maybe I've got... I mean, in theory, this would be, you know, better... Yeah, so her, you see the red down there below her, showing you the, uh, her power going down because of the element disadvantage. Let's just go in with all water. And then I'll be wind as the summoner. So autoplay is available in the dungeons. Okay, so that's kind of nice, I guess. items we can get later on. Let's see. Book to get rewards. Monster book. Okay, this is just like your collection of monsters. Okay, so as you level up your books, you get account stats. So as you fight or defeat monsters, you get more account stats. What is this?
Come on, man, that's too easy. Let's go to the next level. done a good job overall with the effects and the, the skills, animations. I feel like they're all pretty clean, pretty satisfying. Get your DPS levels over here if you're tuned on the left hand side. Since these are like auto dungeons, there's no chests in these. Well, I do have my ultimate ability I want to use at some point. Yeah, look at my DMR's damage. Fifty-eight, fifty-six seconds left. Okay. That guy's not gonna dodge. So if I wanted him to dodge, I'd have to manual it. Level two of the dungeon done. <laughs> Additional entry available. All right, a little pause for there. Oh, there is repeat battle as well. Okay. Go to the next person. Path of training. Cool. You want to talk to Scarlet? More rewards. These are for awakening. Okay, got more potions from her. Peace exchange, so monster pieces exchange. Exchange pieces. If I can exchange monster pieces for other items. The higher the star grade of your monster pieces, the item with higher rarity can be exchanged for. All right, so I have one five star piece up on the top here. One, a bunch of three star pieces. I don't have two in ones. So I can get Polar Queen or Archangel. Jack o' Lantern's a five star too. But I just get pieces towards them. We'll save on that. Four star. Pieces, get the Mo Long piece. 
Or not the Mo Long. Um, unfair Bear. Got Rainbow Mons. We'll save some of these pieces for now. More passive skills. Consume six mana for each monster change. Monster cannot be changed in the arena. I'm guessing it consumes less. Oh, I, okay. So right now it's on a cooldown. So I can do, I can switch monsters for a cost. Let's get to the next place. I can talk to Joshua. Yeah, the Unknown Scrolls being one to four star is pretty cool. Don't think we get quite as many of them as in Sky Arena. Back to goblins. Ooh, that's a lot of gold. Honestly, I feel like I should just level up the MRs all the way to the end. Like, I got tons of these things. Okay, target level. How much do I need for target level? Teleport cost down. What was it costing me? Was it gold? What's up, Albert? Click through quests. Okay, I got a, sh a new shield. You've acquired a new sub weapon. Go to my backpack. Sub weapons can be equipped here. You can also enhance sub weapons. Okay, so this one's just better. A grassland dew shield. Obviously better against water as well.
There we go. And you guys be able to see the cursor. I just realized you weren't able to see it. Now we're taking out Hellhounds and Forest Spirits. Uh, Mustafa, what uh, what region are you in? Uh, right now, it's just a U.S. Canada release, uh, as well as a Korea release a couple months ago. So it's not technically a global release. So depending on what region you are, you might be region locked. Catherine. Isn't that the name of the girl from Genshin Impact that does your all your quests? Nice Troy, congrats. Yeah, Rika's I still don't have Rika in regular Sky Arena. I want her really bad. Congrats, though. You'll have to tell me how she is once you get her leveled up. Barracuda dish active the food down here. That shows you the bottom left. It's underneath my cam. Grassland skull soldiers. I'm taking a decent amount of damage from them. You have my ultimate ability. Let's we'll see how that looks here soon. I wonder if there's a keybind for like hiding the UI, like just the all of the UI. Now, of course, gotta talk to Catherine. All right, a bunch of Endure runes, one star Endure runes. Okay. Runes, yep, set effects. So for those of you that don't know, you know, multiple runes of the same type will get a set effect. Pretty common in games like this. All right, let's go check out runes. So... Let's see, I have Theomars here. Obviously, I'm not going to put him on Endure for very long. Let's just do auto-equip for now, put them all on. That is a one-star green. That's common. Well, we'll get more runes in the future. What are we doing on skills? Do you have any more passives we can do? Yes, we can. Tenacity Keeper. Nice, cool. Helps me to not die. We got Creature Book. Flame all from the Creature Book. Uh, segment? So I was watching um, another video, and segment ended up being like 
on everybody's PvP. Like, you go to the rankings and all the top people, right, and, and it shows their monsters, like what monsters that they, they are using for PvP, and, like, Sekman is literally there in almost every single one. So, I don't know how good she is in, like, just regular PvE stuff, like what we're doing now, but I know that PvP, she's evidently broken. So, that's an awesome pool. Congrats. Yeah, thanks, KY. Yeah, Sekhmet is good, from what I've seen. Use badges to raise? What else can I use badges for, though? It's always the question. So, yeah, I would definitely build Sekhmet. Is she is she a damage type? Or is she like support? Right, yeah, fire. Um I think look at like my monster skills. I'm going to enter the dungeon here in a second. So, like, here, under class guys, there's Mage, Archer, Assassin, Support, Warrior, and Knight. So, that's just, you know, defense, attack type, support type. Alright, let's go to the dungeons. Looking for Francis. All right. Team power is 12,000. Enemy power is 6,900. Nice. All right. Let's do this. He's a mage? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, Sekman is a mage. The AoE silence and strip. Okay. So silence obviously being like they can't use their skills. And then strip is, is really good. Because a couple of those bosses so far have had those invincibilities, so if you don't have a strip, <laughs> you're kind of out of luck. <gasps> Manual play required. All right, Catherine, what's up? Bridge is synced. Uh, wooden road? Oh, nice. Click to build. Uh, Troy, yeah, I mean, obviously, Wind Polar is like phenomenal in Sky Arena, one of the best monsters out there. I have no idea about it here. Um, all I have to go off of is some, you know, other people's tier list for now. Um, Alright, so we got manual this. What do we got here? We got a rock mutant wetlands root. Nice, okay, let's get ourselves a treasure chest. Yeah, definitely re-roll if you want to re-roll for it. You know, you can play through the tutorial pretty quick again. But at the same time, you know, enjoy the game. You know, even if it's not the best monster, I'm sure they're all pretty decent. Going. 
Nice. Okay, cool. This one looks like a checkpoint. Yeah, record point. Who this? Oh, he is not looking good. Oh, it's dad. Why is dad smashing statues? Dang, she just slapped him. Oh yeah, Baron, it, this is completely different. Obviously, it has some really cool elements that are transferring over. Um, you know, runes and, and monsters. It looks like a lot of monsters' skills are pretty similar. Um, but, like, obviously how they are implemented the game. Should have Shannon on your team while they give you her for free. Yeah, I'll have to look up... Um, yeah, actually take some time and look at my monster's skills. See what they do. Be good to diversify too, since she's wind. I'm just a bunch of water. My Thiamog is actually getting hurt pretty bad. Questy. All right, return to Rudolin Village. Yes, sir. Aye, aye, Captain. We got a bunch of energy runes. That's good. If we probably put those on Alusia. Oh yeah, bearing. It's completely different. Obviously, it's using the same IP, right? Um, all the same monsters and, and lore. Uh, but it's definitely like, you know, think Lost Ark. Um, I think some of your other popular MMOs that have come out recently. A lot of people are comparing it to Genshin. So far, it's like it's got some Genshin stuff in it, but it definitely feels a lot more like Lost Ark. Obviously, the graphics and stuff make people think Genshin. Up, Chad. Michael F. So KY says top tier Desert Queen, Water Ifrit, and Water Desert Queen. Good to know. So we got raids now, raid menu. Let's see what we got for raids. Party dungeons. This creature. These creatures are difficult to face on your own. Fight with allies. Challenge powerful bosses in raids. Nice. Here's a list of the raids. Okay, Raid Hell, Butterfly Tomb, and the Foggy Prison. I don't know if I'm ready for these yet. Looks like they get infinitely harder here. Holy crap. Foggy Prison. You get so much XP. But I'm not able to do those until a certain act. So I can do this one, though. Let's see. Let's let's join. Let's see what happens. Uh, match accepted. Yes. Yeah, it definitely feels bearing a lot like Lost Ark. I don't know. I got kind of bored of Lost Ark after a while. But then again, you know, I think playing with friends and playing with people makes a big difference. Overall, this game like, seems a little simpler than Lost Ark, so that's kind of nice. So far, Zephron top left is doing the best. This monster feels just like one of the monsters from the... Uh, uh, what is that other Monster Hunter game? It's like a Monster Hunter clone game. It's got the same graphics.
You know, my DPS is going up here. He does the roll and then the slam. Buffs too much. He's not hitting too hard. Nice. All right. First one down. He got some XP for everybody. Ooh, I did get a dark weapon, though. Or no, this is water? Question mark? Yeah, it's water. It's got the purple, though. That makes it think like it's dark. Level 16? Oh, that's like required level 16 in order to use it? Okay. Uh, do you go... Yeah, Troy, it was Dollars. That's what I'm thinking of. Thank you. Uh, I played Dollar for a little while. I liked it. It was fun. I've actually never played the actual Monster Hunter game, so it gave me a little taste for the genre. Uh, Digos, right now in the UK, it is not officially released um, in the UK. And right now there's no plans for it. Or not plans, there's no announcement for release in the UK. Uh, unless I've missed the announcement. Maybe KY, you could fill in. Uh, but D-Ghost, you could probably uh, work around with a VPN. Uh, that's what everybody was doing with the Korean server. Yeah, Bearing, I honestly stopped after about three weeks on Lost Ark. Part of it, you know, it just didn't have anybody to play with. Felt like everybody else was playing something else. What you doing, boy? Let me know what you find out, though, Digos, if you're uh, able to get on. It's a pretty small download. I think it was like three and a half gigs, so it should be pretty quick. Let's see. Summoner's growth tickets. Ancient relic used to be here. Ooh, what is this? We got monster pieces box. Joshua put random monster pieces in the box, open to obtain a three to five star monster piece. It's time to check the area exploration. Area exploration is newly unlocked in the quest menu. Quests, the okay, area exploration. Okay, so a little side quest. So you go to the different areas, you go to the villages, and you've got different side quests. Select accept button to enter. What's up, Madsen? One thing I hope they fix is that it doesn't automatically switch out of what you're doing in the menu when you hit your next person in the auto questing. I don't like how it does that. Like, I want to be able to press escape, get out of the menu, and then I'm, I'm here in the dialogue. Count level 12. I think I can equip the new mace that I just got. Or cleave level 15. Was it just cleave? Oh no, this was level 16. Unable to wear equipment just yet. Alright. Let me get out of all this sound effect area. What is this? We got mango trees. We got some mangoes. You can just kind of sit here and keep gathering it. Wonder how many is in it. Maybe that's the number on the left. 
Yeah, it is. I'm sure collecting mangoes later. Okay, so we've got new stories available as in blue. That's probably your side quest, and then main quest is yellow. So we talked about Shannon. Let's go look at Shannon. I do have Shannon. Um, no, that's fairy. Here's Shannon. What else I got here? Hellhounds, more gore, harpies. I do have the Vagabond. He's a four star on priest. looking at some of these tier lists it doesn't look like i have any more s tiers shannon says a tier here rika says a tier um but of course you know other people's tier lists don't matter but it's a good starting place yeah well shannon definitely is on a tier and that's the only other one that i have so let's build shannon Black Desert, yeah, I, I've gotten so many ads for Black Desert, I've just never actually played. One day. Alright, so we got Fairy. Let's level her up. Oh, wait, not Fairy, she's a uh, Pixie. There we go, there's Shannon. Let's level up to... Let's level up to... Level up to 20. We got her skills here. Attacks. She creates an explosion to attack enemies within the area. Applies attack down. That's good. And defense break. That's really good. Okay. Applies it to... Yeah, those are some awesome skills. Attack up. Defense down. And then attack down. And yeah, those are awesome. So let's put her on the team. So I only, okay, so here's the pieces owned. So I own one out of 20 Valkyria pieces, one out of 20. Yeah. Fire Epicon Priest and Water Garuda. Yeah, I do have the Fire Epicon. I got her as one of my first summons. I think she was my first summon. What's her skills? Attacks, yep. Raise the staff to recover. Oh, that's right. She's invincibility. It makes sense. Good to know, KY. Awesome. Uh, level up. Let's use... Let's put her on the team, too. Put me in, coach. All right. Um, How do I switch out my team again? I know they told me. composition there we go let's switch out gore and let's put in fire epicon and wind pixie shannon let's go put in so he's got some endures let's he was a little squishy in some of the fights Cool. Let's do Shannon, Ifrit, and Priest. Yeah, it seems like the a decent combo. Got all the um, elements kind of covered. All right, let's go with this for now. You can just click on runes up here. I don't have any runes for Shannon yet, or do I? I've got something. There we go. What is this? Defense? Cool. Well, something on. Let's look at our skills real quick. More passives. 
weapon proficiency. You can change main weapon's attribute every 54 seconds in PvP. I'm not really concerned about PvP just yet. You can change Soul Link monster every 14 seconds. Okay, seems good. Yeah, okay, well, I definitely need to join a guild. Let's enhance basic attack. Dude, Gore. What happened? Gore got on the on the juice. What are these? Essence that holds naturally occurred magic. Essence of magic. Okay. And then more of these enhancements. Alright, let's go to the guild menu. Contribution points with your guild members. Yep, makes sense. Complete daily guild quests. Spin the Wheel of Fortune. Nice. Take a look at guilds. Join a guild. All right. Really don't care too much. Probably just a guild that's actually active, I guess. Anybody got a guild that you're, they're running? I can definitely join one of y'all's guilds. I kind of want to build a, a guild. I'm the guild leader in my Sky Arena guild, but I don't really want to be guild leader again. <laughs> I'm done with leading guilds. I mean, these guys are ranked 10. It says instant join. So that seems, they seem like they're pretty active. 25 out of 28. Let's go with them. We're dead inside. Lol. I know that half of these guilds are just going to die after about a week. Always happens. All right, let's join. We're dead inside. Contribution. A couple of people online. Looks like most people are online. What are these? Essence required for Monster Awakening. And the money. Wheel of Fortune. Level up XP. Okay. Let's go to our creature book. Collection. Oh, that's right. I collected some mangoes. Open to obtain four to five monster pieces. I can open times two. A werewolf and okay, hard pieces.
do have a pickaxe. I can go mining at some point. Got some mangoes used for crafting. Or they're eating raw. All right, Rudolin Exploration. Talk to Madsen. Let's see, here are my goals. Let's accept this. Let's go do it. Looks like Madsen's the go-to guy for this region. Oh, I need to switch out my people. I'm not supposed to switch those out. Uh, monsters. Composition. go. It'll be a lot faster. Yeah, look at all those buffs. Yeah, <laughs> Troy, I definitely, I'm going to do some summons here. I want to collect a couple more and get a nice, nice, decent summon session. Are LDs a part of these? So there's no, like, LD scrolls? All these come as a part of the regular the regular scrolls. Yeah, that's true. I probably should just summon what I got. I could be getting something good that'll help me progress faster. What's up, Rover? Let's go find Tio. Okay, so that's done with that. Let's go. Let's go do it. Let's go get some summons here. See if I got any more achievements to finish. You can increase levels and acquire titles. Okay, cool. Titles. There we go. Some more scrolls. That's what we want right there. So we came to see more achievements. Flame all. Ooh, what are these? All eyes on your... Oh, it's a title. Okay. More scrolls, more money. Scrolls. Earned a new title. Star Chaser. Fly it. All right, is it time to summon some? Yeah, let's do some. All right, summon altar. There we go. So I have 20... Six missile summons, 21 unknown summons, no legendary summons, but I could use the mysticals on that, but I already got them. I already got them, so that's awesome. I also have monster pieces, so I don't have enough for anything yet. Let's start out with the, the unknown summons here. 21, we'll do 210 times. I don't know how many times I'm going to watch this animation. All the basic two stars. Bunch of two stars. Got some pieces. Check possibilities. Or is that a few details? No, that's fairy. Um. So I just get to choose one of these, or do I get all of them? Or no? No, I get all of them. Yeah, this isn't a pick one. 
All right, let's go another 10 times summon on these lower scrolls. We're going to skip this. Okay, I do have the harpy or the harpu. And then I also got Garuda, Wind Garuda. I also got Grim Reaper. I'm looking for a purple sky. Is that the uh, is that the LD? Is that what that is? Or is that just five star? Nice. All right. Got one more of these unknowns to do. Nice. Forest Keeper. All right, here we go. Ten times summon. All right, isn't there like... So there's like altar blessings. And it's only for like four stars. So you get like increased chance, I'm guessing. Drop rate of monsters will be increased. So I guess if you're trying to like... Is there skill ups in this game? I haven't seen skill ups. Purple is five star. Cool. All right, let's try this. Ten times summon. I didn't see any purple. Bunch of blue. I want the fire harpoo. All right, let's try this again. Looking for purple sky. So the orange goes up. Oh, we got two oranges. Is that four star? Ooh, the Frankenstein design. Okay, another Vagabond. Yeah, they must be the orange. It must be two Vagabonds, really? Come on. All right. So we got six more. Rip indeed. Hey, I'm I'm happy. Today was a great start getting DMRs. I can't complain about that. It's all my new monsters. Let's uh we like favorite monsters or something? This is gonna be crazy. Oh, there we go. That's a little better. I'm gonna figure out this UI. There we go. Let's get Shannon. Level up. So monster stories. I got new monster stories. Okay. Get some more skills going here. Some 
enhance the wind skills, enhance the water skills. Should have gotten a new weapon here. No, not yet. Not level 16 yet. Yeah, I've, I've seen that Fire Fairy is really good, so... Um, oh, Fire Fairy. I was thinking Fire Harpoo. Let's see what Fire Fairy does after I enhance these. Got titles. More titles. Oh, decoration effect. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. Uh, Big Sweet, I don't know. Honestly. Um... Which Monkey King did you get? up to five. Oh, you got the purple one? Yeah, that's um, an LD, so that's really awesome. No idea if they're good or not, but honestly, LD is an LD. LD five star? Hell yeah. Let's finish up the rest of these uh, region quests here. Yeah, I don't know what the rates are. I need to look up what the rates are. Oh, okay, I can change monsters right there. That's pretty easy. Let's turn some of these sound effects down. A little too much. Congrats, though, Big Two. Let's look at monsters here. Let's well, go in here to monsters. I'll look up Fire Fairy. See? Hate this. Oh, the 99 cent deal. Y'all have to look at it. I might I might spend a couple dollars. Alright, story number five. Finish up the investigation. So, I did the story. And now is it like level two of the story? Oh, okay, so we just kind of keep going. I wouldn't say I'm like a completionist per se, but I do like to do as much of the, the quests in East Region before moving on, because I know I won't go back. What uh what devices is everybody playing on?
All right, we'll get to progress 10. Whoopee! iPad, nice, yeah. Does it look pretty decent on iPad? Let's get... Okay, 7, let's get to level 10. These story quests. More skills. I just want to get to some of the dungeons. <laughs> yeah, I bet you this this game probably sucks your phone dry. I know when I try to play Genshin on the phone, sometimes it just sucked it dry. That's good. That's awesome. a lot of UI on the screen, so I can't imagine playing it on the phone. Um, I mean, it is kind of auto questy, so it's not too bad, I guess. But the iPad seems like a nice middle ground. I'm definitely reading every word of this. Go talk to Whoopi. Do I want to become a summoner? I don't think you're cut out for it, kid. Flex souls. All right, let's go talk to Serena again. And then I'm going to let this quest go. Go use the restroom here in a second. Get through her dialogue. Now they go defeat some skulls. Skulls. All right, we'll be right back, guys. all the skills. Nice. That was so easy. I didn't even have to be here. I'm so good. God gamer. Alright, what did I say? I was going to get to level 10 of this. And then I'll move on from here. Back to the main quest. I'll talk to Whoopi again. Playtime, 120 minutes. Increase account level. Is that all it does? If that's all it does, then... Anybody else have experience with those little account level tokens? And can you do anything else with them? Or is it strictly just for leveling up your account? Hate to use it. But I could use it for something else. Alright, there we go, I got that. 
Got to level 10. Got the uh, reward. 3 to 5 star. Save a couple of those. What is this one? 3 to 5 star. Oh, it's a water scroll. Okay. Definitely need to... I need to finish some of these and get that. Let's get back on main quest. Summoning. Field events. Here are some upcoming event schedules. Mineral of Rumors. Dancing in the square to defeating field, but various events are scheduled hourly. You can get various rewards just for participating. Random scrolls and scroll pieces. Guaranteed to receive one of the following rewards. Okay. Outfit crafting. And then, of course, these. What are these? Minerals? Rare mineral obsidian. Okay, so this is Tesca area, Aya area, Castlin area. So you have to be in these different regions. Okay. So obviously, just kind of play through the quest a little more. Skull archers. Let's get them. Let's go look at this shop real quick. So you can just flat out buy him for a hundred bucks. So I made a hundred bucks today. Okay, so thirty thousand coins get to XP and mystical skulls. This is the ninety-nine cent one you bought. Five missile man, and you got a LD out of the five missile school scrolls. That's crazy. That's awesome. All right, so you can get the path of growth tickets for 500, so definitely save your crystals. Basically, energy recharging from Sky Arena. So, I'll definitely save those crystals. Okay, let's command your monsters to fight strategically. Okay, I was wondering what this button does. Use command button to change the way your monsters fight. There are three battle modes. In individual mode, each monster continues to attack the nearest target, fight along your monsters. Okay. In focus mode, your monsters will attack the target you're attacking. I feel like that's generally best. Because you wanna like wanna work down certain monsters first. Rally mode makes your monsters prioritize following your movements. Use this mode to hit and dodge against bosses that use area attacks. Uh, Big Sweet says, uh, don't do single pulls. Oh, is there a discount for 10 pulls? I'm going to change this to focus mode. Oh, I am level 16. I need to go put my new weapon on. I want to go see what you were saying about summoning. Oh, yeah, it is. Wow, okay. So I know this says 10% discount on the crystals, but as far as, like, doing just scrolls... I'll have to get some more scrolls to see see what it says. Let's get some more skills going here. Uh, ooh, I got the last of these passive skills. 
Level 1 crit resistance up for 10 seconds when we get below 50% HP. Definitely grab that. Definitely do enhance skill. Yeah, less damage taken. Always good. I haven't used my ultimate yet. Wind shield is pretty good. Wind double attack is pretty good. Let's pour some more into that. More creatures. Probably all the skulls we just did. So whenever I get those boxes, got to go to the inventory here and open those. Okay, cowgirl. Ooh, some jack o lantern pieces. Him being five star is pretty cool. I always thought it was a pretty cool character design. All right, so I'm level 16 now. I can use the new weapon. So let's equip that as a water weapon. And maybe we'll do a couple enhances on this. What is a level 2 weapon now? I don't want to do too much. We'll go down to 40. And we'll stop there. Okay, let's keep going. Explore the flooded route. Oh, I've got to... Oh, I pressed the button that... That brings me home. Okay. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. So that's like the bring you home, teleport to home button up there. I don't really want to click that, but I can click the map, and I can see the map. So that's nice. So we're going to flooded ruins. We're in Rudolin. So it's got the different level areas. I could essentially hit everything in here. All right, enter dungeon. All right, we're going to get some more energy runes. More endure runes. Okay, so Shannon's up. And they're all water. So Epicon Priest is going to really hurt here. But at the same time, she's also one of my higher level ones. Power level 9,000 for the enemy. I think we'll be fine. Destroy the tombs where the skulls keep crawling out. Manual play required. Stupid headphone cord constantly getting under my chair. Here we go. What's up, Debbie? All right, let's do a buff. Done. Do we have chests in here? We gotta destroy this thing? Yeah. That's got invincibility. We gotta defeat the monsters first. Who will become silent and destroy all tombs? Alright, cool. Let me make sure I'm not missing any. Yeah, destroy these? Did they give me anything? Nope. It's blocked off. 
Well, it's kind of nice. It's got the little uh, star trail there. Tells you where to go. All right. Destroy as many tombs as you can before the ghost team wakes up. Okay, cool. Destroy them all. Oh, I missed one. Oh, I missed two, actually. These are invincible still. There we go. I was like, hopefully I didn't have to bring a stripper. The only problem with this team is that there's no stripper. That first boss had the invincibility that we had to strip off, so it was kind of necessity. Okay, destroy as many teams as I can. Invincibility. Okay, I just missed. Missed those. Invincibility wears off in a second. Oh, one more skull. At eight seconds, destroy the tombs. Come on, guys, help me out. What's up, my boy? Triple crush. Giant Skull Musician. We got a chest here. Oops. Is there no auto pickup? Mar just wrecked him. A bunch of endurance, a whole set of endurance. Shannon is maxed. Okay. What will we do with that next? Got a new hairstyle. Wired outfits. Right, so let's go try it on. You can acquire outfit effects by collecting outfit sets. I'm imagining it's just cosmetic. Some outfits can be crafted. Outfit effects. Oh, there's legitimate stat increases from outfits. I don't know how I feel about that. red suit's pretty cool. Hang, look at that. That's pretty dope. Increases night type monster attack by 18. So, like, if you're running full night comp or mostly night comp, I guess that would be good. Definitely feels more like a mid-game thing. Oh, what is this do? I got a new hairstyle equipped. No, thank you. I like my I like my look.
Ooh, there's some of that uh that yarn that we need for crafting outfits. More creatures. Summoning pieces. Earned a new title. Newcomer. Tricky. His name's Tricky. His mother named him Tricky. Another scroll. Okay, so I can disassemble equipment. Unequipped equipment are displayed. Select the equipment you want to disassemble. I guess all the water ones. Even though that shield is cool. Alright, so disassemble. So I got some coins. I got Restoration Stone. Contains mystical magic power that repairs equipment weakened from failing an enhancement. Huh. Obtained by a disassembling equipment. So I can fail an enhancement later on. Great. Can be RNG later with enhancements. Okay. Second to last one here. Revives after 570 seconds if a monster gets defeated. So they do automatically revive, but like that's pretty good. Let's just get this last one just to call it finished. Let's level up this wind rush. It feels pretty good. I haven't used my ultimate yet. I need to use that. Everything's so auto, though, so I wonder if I can use it even while I'm autoing. Alright, so this is the story mode of that area. Spider habitat with spiders. Okay, cool. Some new monsters, new area. That'd be cool. As, you, as soon as you see this note, get all the imitation to come up the hill. Made a deal with the Neo Galligans. So what can I do with Shannon now that she's maxed? Increase your monster's star grade. Okay, by evolution. You can always evolve monsters if you have materials required. Hit the evolve button. Okay, so here's Evolve. So he's not max, uh, but I can make him six star. But I definitely want to do level up Shannon. Not enough points required for evolution. Okay, so I just used points from somewhere. Oh, these are the Breath of Life tokens. Okay. Yeah, no, I think it's totally worth it. And now I can go back to level up. And I do have quite a few of these. Hmm. She's pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna level her up. All the way to 40. And let's do... Use them up on our team. All right, so I got Shannon to a four star. That's good. We'll find the rest of these cocoons. Evolution and awakening. So we have to awaken them. Nice, got some more runes. I need to put some runes on people. So... Monster Awakening. Here we go. Definitely want to do some Awakening. Okay. 
Awakening has 15 levels. At level 5, the star grade turns purple and the monster's appearance changes. Okay, so we gotta get through. Power increases gradually as the Awakening level increases. You can level up skills at level 5. So I need Essence of Magic in order to awaken them, so I'll have to go to the Magic Dungeon. But Shannon, though, I can awaken her. Or I can begin to, at least. So I'll need Essence of Wind, Essence of Magic, and Breath of Life, I see. Can't do anything. So there's the Path of Growth. Enhance monsters with various runes. Okay, so these are these dungeons. So these are rune dungeons. Then there's subjugation. Where do I get the magic, the magic essences? I get breath of life there. More breath of life. It's like a lot of equipment there. We shall get Etsin somewhere else. Hyros Dungeon, probably, once I unlock that. Uh, Josh, let's see. Evolutions. Power Breath of Life. Yeah, all of them do. Points from either character shards or rainbow bonds. Yeah. Auto selected it chose shards from something lower in the menu. Interesting. Uh, let me, sorry, Spider. I'll come back to you in a second. I want to look at that. So we were in the Awaken menu here. Or no, we were in the Evolve menu. Oh, I see. So, well, no, I had 234. I have plenty of Breath of Life. So maybe it just like auto grabbed some of the Rainbow. I don't remember getting Rainbow Mon. I have to definitely keep my eye out for that, though. Let's just, for instance, okay, if I auto selected this. Okay, so. Okay, yeah, so it's not going to use. Or maybe it will use Breath of Life anyway. But yeah, these are her pieces. So that's what I guess we use their pieces for. So, for instance, if we go back to Summon Altar here. And let's say we go to Mystical Summon. We go to Altar Blessings. I could put. Like, let's say I want more of these. I put them into the altar. So that way I get more of those. So I get more pieces. So I can awaken them or I can level them up more. So I'll just put these. Actually, I don't really want to put these guys in there for now. So I don't really want any of these. Except for maybe Epicon Priest. Yeah, I think I had. I think I had some Pixie Shards. That's probably what it selected. But I do need to be more cognizant of watching that stuff. There's a lot happening on the screen. Okay, we're about to go into the spider dungeon. Okay, I did just get wind, essence of wind. And I needed that for Shannon. How am I doing on the quests? Got more of those, cool. So let's go back to monsters. Sorry, I've got the Essence of Wind now. Level 2 conditions. So I've met all the level 2 conditions. I mean, it sounds like once I get the Kairos dungeon open, I'll probably be able to farm magic pretty easily. So I have no problem going higher up on her. So now that I have the skills, so as I go up in the evolution, or in the awakening, the skills... I can actually level up skills. So let's say the buff skill, enhance. Um, and I would need crystals for that too. Or Devilmons, right? So from Sky Arena game, Devilmons were used to increase skills. So always keep your Devilmons. Never use your Devilmons. That's only for five stars. I would imagine the same thing from Sky Arena is true here. So always keep Devilmons. Never use those. So 
be very careful with auto select. So I'll just need to get more Shannon pieces. Which that would come from, you know, unknown scrolls. So we could just do some of these and skip. So I got another fairy. So I got more crystals for the fairy. Okay, I got a couple of LDs here. Nice. Um, LD imp. Okay, cool. We'll just try to get more. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's go in the spider's nest. Energy and endure runes. Seems like a reasonable team. Enemy's power is 11,000. That's the highest we've had. So I'm guessing we probably want to get all the adds first. All the smaller monsters. Dude, I love the anime artwork. Joshua left first and saw a Galagon take the relic. Nice, I definitely read that. All right, manual play required. Got chess. Is it auto pickup? Okay, it is after a second. here and then do this skill that skill I wish my cursor was easier to see it's kind of hard to see sometimes I wonder if I can change that let's do there we go the camera angle, the camera angle change too is kind of abrupt can I attack these things? No. Uh -oh. All right, who we got here? Okay. Oh, we're counting down. Oh, we have continuous burn effect. Is that continuous damage? Yeah. So it's tick damage or burn damage. Switch over to... Honestly, I should probably have either Shannon or Epicon. Honestly, I probably have Epicon Priest as my soul link. So that way I can use her invincibility when I need it. I think so like there we go there's the invincibility nice dodge out of that yeah. oh couldn't get out of that There's a cocoon. Anything else in here? Yeah. What's up? Bonus seven coins, man. My lucky day.
Yeah, Josh, that seems like the best best way to go about it. Especially something like the invincibility skill, right? Like Shannon's skills, I can just let her do that. And attack is always good, but the invincibility I kind of want to be able to have, you know, ready on hand. All right, so these are enhancing runes. I really don't want to enhance my one-star runes right now. Enhance one. Okay, so I do have to enhance a rune. Runes can be enhanced using other rune enhancement stones and sky stones as materials. So, more currencies. Every three enhance. All right, okay, so just like Sky Arena, every three levels in a rune goes up you get sub stats as well as main stats okay I don't think I have any two star runes yet all right so let's enhance it once okay requires three materials enhance Okay, completed the, qu the quest for that. So I can click on four. Now let's get one more Endure Rune in here. Let's go to Shannon. Let's go auto-equip, give you some stuff. I do, let's get rid of... It is a blue HP. So I'll have to make a video here at some point explaining all this stuff, but um, uh, white runes, let's go back to all runes. Uh, where's my white rune? White rune here has no substats down below, but it has a main stat. Main stats are the same on the green runes, but then they have an additional uh, substat here. Um, so a substats, that's that's really what we want to look at with runes later on. Right now we're just putting on whatever. It's early game. Um, but eventually these substats, is, that's what we need to do dungeons for, is getting the right substats, the right monsters. Let's see if we have I have no more threes okay and you can see here all the uh like energy runes are better for hp monsters um so like the mrs here i'll eventually want to put either like you know rage blade fatal something like that uh in the main game though he's also does damage based off of um speed so It would also be okay to put him on speed, except I don't know if that's the case here. Okay. I'm going to go to monsters here. All the power level of your monster. Didn't give me any description about the monster. Maybe under book. Oh, so he can put effects on people? Freeze. CC effect. Go to the monster for him. Yeah, that Zoro's first. Congrats. 4.9 rating. Okay. I was hoping to see if he, his damage scales off of speed as well at all. What are these tokens? Rahil Order tokens. An order from Rahil Kingdom used for repeat quests. All right, so they're energy in order to do repeat quests and then growth tickets. Ooh. Got chapter one done in the book. So off to chapter two. Summoner's Pass, rewards, more unknown scrolls. That's really that's all I think I give you is an unknown scroll. Of course, there's the premium pass. Get 
Get Devilmons in there. Get Techstone boxes. Don't know what those are yet. Valkyria pieces. Let's get going in the next place. So the Galagons used to be peaceful, but... <coughs> Excuse me. People's back, so they're acting up. Hey guys, all the new people, welcome to the stream. Path of Adventure. Let's go check it out. Enhance monsters and beer. Okay, so. Different types of runes. Alright, so we're definitely dungeon farming. We have 11 tickets at the top, so we can only do one 11 times. Used additionally. So there is a bonus. So I'm pretty sure that if the bonus is. Like, if we have bonus ones, then you should just solely focus on bonus. Like, you're going to be playing this game for weeks, right? Um, so, it's sort of like a return on investment over time. Just do the bonus dungeons. Entries two out of four. So, I've already done... Hmm. Look at that in a second. I like Windrush. It does a lot of damage. I also like this one. Defense up. And Provoke. It's pretty good. I got more of these monster pieces. I got Red Mav. We got uh, Vicar. Nice. Vicar OP in base game. What's up, Legend? How are you? You got a chance to download the game? gather some statue pieces. <laughs> Rerolling for Lucian? Nice. Yeah, I was lucky. My first one, I've got the Omar, so I'm sticking with it. <laughs> I didn't even have to pull on the banner. It was my first 10 pull. Or, uh, or it was my first select scroll. Yeah, yeah it's like those legendary select scrolls. Lucian, though. OG, OP. Can't imagine he's not good. <laughs> Yeah, he's somebody, a couple other uh, tier lists. Lucian looks like he's S tier, so good luck on that. Nice. Destroyed. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining. Theo good in this game? Yeah, he's S tier as well, so.
Do I? Uh, Josh says I should have a four-star summon ticket. Let's go check that out. See if I do or not. Um, see what we got here. Count name change. Chaos essence. Let's open this and see what we get. Oh, these are the essences for awakening. Okay, cool. Is that only one? Okay. Uh, what is this? New guard support. A boxing hand gifts for newly recruited Rahil. Like, what do we got here? Oh, we got Angelmon. So for level ups. There it is. There, Joshua Wright. Four star selection ticket right there. New hair piece. Okay, cool. Oh, this is like this whole outfit, I think. What is this? Rahil order tokens. Okay, these are for the repeat quests. And then these are three to five star summoning pieces. Bunch of three stars. I do want to get Harpy, though. Uh, Fire Harpy. Or Fire Harpu, yeah. I want to get Colleen. So I did get that four star ticket, so I guess I can use that in summon altar? Question mark. Legendary. You could use the slight force. Take the ticket to Jewels. Okay, so I have to actually go to Jewels at the Castle and Square. I might as well do that. Let's go, let's go home. All right, so I need to go to Jewels. Handworker, Black Storage Guard, Rides Keeper, Monster Piece Exchange. Is that her? I need to go see Jewels. Oh, wait, this is Summon. Oh, yeah. Um, somebody had a... You have to go to the square in town to a vendor. Let's go find this vendor. I need to get... Go back to map. Let's see where... Oh, I need to go to... I just said... This is Rudolin Village. Uh, let's see. In Castlin Square. Oh, wait. Pre registration keeper. Jules? That was her name. Jules, I think. Pre registration keeper. But it said Jules. Oh, okay. Here they are. So here's the tickets. All right, so I know I've seen Bernard is really good. Attack speed and move speed. That require high attack speed. Elementals. And there's Colleen. So I guess some monsters are that are four stars in Sky Arena are not four stars here. They're five stars here. Okay, a knight type monster that recovers ally HP. It also learns attack up after reaching awakening level five. So this is attack up and HP. This is my Epicon Priest. She recovers ally HP and applies Invincible. So she's healing. 
Corpu does more healing, probably. What can I sell? I have nothing. Oh, I have runes that I can sell. I just sell her runes. I could sell her other stuff, too. Like... Kind of torn between Bernard and Colleen. So far, most of the S tier monsters have been five stars. You know, Lucian, the Amars, Valkyria. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Let's do Colleen. Nice. Okay, nice. Thanks, Josh, for leading me uh, to the four star ticket. Oh, I do have three water schools. It's nice. All right. I bet, man. Have you have you rolled for any like have you gotten anything else though? Five stars? I travel? Oh, okay, it's 500 coins. Feels like a lot. Is it distance based? So, like. Oh, they're the same. That ah, feels like a lot. Four star. Amazon, Dark Amazon. Okay, dungeon. Let's enter. A lot of water. I've seen most of the dungeons early have been water. Runes Guardian has blocked central ruins with rune barrier. Check the runes on the stone plate and step on the platform. Okay, so a mini puzzle. You must listen to Joshua's story carefully. 
Okay, you're running out of time. It's only a matter of time before the altar is damaged. Central runes collapse. Restore the damaged altar and find the Galagon. Okay. Can you destroy the rune vines? Okay. Rune vines gone. All right, so here's our mini puzzle. Let's get rid of these guys first. Okay. So we got energy, despair, and guard runes. So energy is red, despair is green. All right, so it wants us to do energy first? Question mark? Wow. Okay. So that All right. Looks like I might have dropped a couple people on a stream. Like, sorry about that, guys. Hopefully you find your way back. All right, so Despair went out first. All right, so Despair, Guard, Energy. Despair, Guard, Energy. And Guard again, question mark? There we go. That guy's doing something over on the side. Ooh, all stunned. Man, I took a lot of damage there. Uh, what is it? Q to heal? Yeah, bro, that healed so much. Okay, what do we need? I need guard and energy. I'm not paying attention. There we go. Okay, the time remaining until the tremor ends. What am I supposed to do with it? Move to the central runes? Don't get hit by the tremor. Use it what I'm doing here. It just keeps like going on and off. I despair. Guard, cool. And energy. Step on the last one. Okay, it says move to the central ruins, but this is still locked. Do I have to stand on it for a little bit to activate it? It says move to the central ruins. I feel like I'm not doing something right. It's this little thing. Is this the thing I gotta do? Oh, there's a chest back there. Let's go get that chest first of all. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Got some runes. So it's all lit up right now, so I don't know why. There's no 
runes available right now. We glitched, boys? Like, he's already spawned. I need to start this dungeon over again? Because he's already spawned, but it, gates haven't opened up. Alright, so we're going to, I think, probably exit this. Uh, yeah, I think we're bugged. We're bugged, boys. Let's try this run Try this again. All right, let's blow through this. Thank you, Josh. Okay. It's a rune shape that opens the altar. So guard goes off. So we need to stand on guard. Complete the runes. Okay. Stay on there for a bit. And it unlocks white. Nice. We got two rolls. Let's not forget about the chest this time. Alright. Next door. Energy and despair. So let's go energy. Stand on it for a second. Okay, cool. Despair. Cool. All right. Let's make sure to get the chest real quick. All right, our nemesis door. Let's try again. The despair, guard, energy. I don't know if the order matters or not, but we're gonna do it in order. Spare. Guard. Energy. I mean, wait, there it is, all right. So I just restart the dungeon if it bugs out for you. That wasn't too bad. Huzzah. Alright. Runes Guardian. Buff up. Uh, I need to get her up. Because I can dodge, but they can't, so... That was easy. Also, it didn't pop up for me a while ago, but thank you, Victor, for subscribing. <laughs> All right, where are we at? Talk to Joshua. Got some more endure runes. All one star though, so talk to Chad.
All right. Gonna add friends and parties there. That's nice. was in the trailers. Ooh, I want a Nunagami. Tower of Ascensions. Interesting, we got two ones. We got a light and a dark. I wonder if it's like hard and like normal, kind of like in the normal game. Let's ride my bear into the procession. City looks great. Awesome. By the way, guys, I am streaming to both Twitch and YouTube today, but in the future, I'll most likely just be streaming to uh, YouTube uh, as my primary one. So if you guys get a moment, you know, click that subscribe button if you uh, want to keep following the journey. I'll definitely also be making uh, content, YouTube content for the game. So look out for that. I'd uh, definitely appreciate it. Look, everybody's got Theomars here. We got one, two, three Theomars. Ooh, arena time. Is it PvP time? Or no? Is this the regular arena that's not PvP? First you need to register a defense team. Okay, manage team. You can fight with three monsters. Auto place. What does it pick? Yeah, it picks the best ones. Alright. All set. Yeah, this guy's got a Lucian. Wonder what he looks like awakened, because he kind of looks a little dorky. <laughs> I've liked most of the character uh, redesigns so far. Okay, so I made my defense team. We're good there. So I can challenge. There's a level 40, a level 20. So I guess that's just... Are these real people? I guess they are. Yeah. Let's go challenge some people. How is their team power? Why is my team power so low in comparison? Oh, oh, because I haven't actually chosen my team, derp. There we go. Quick battle, battle start. What's the difference? Huh. <laughs> Junkrat, uh, definitely up. That's up in the air. Uh, a lot of opinions being thrown around. Do you have any options right now, Junkrat? I got the Omars on my or uh, Water Ifrit on my first try. Lucian's really great. Um, Zyros. Um, honestly, if you get a five star, I mean, that's pretty good to start. I don't know what the difference between quick battle and battle start is. Anybody know? I don't know why there'd be. Maybe like one's auto and one's manual or something. Just quick battle and auto win. Oh, I see. If my power is high enough. Thanks, Josh. That makes sense. So if you're like, if you're close to their power level, you probably just want to like um, manual it. So like in this case, it's 16,000. 
Yeah, Junkrat. So uh, you'll spend a, a little bit of time, probably like, you know, 20 minutes or so to get through the tutorial. And then you'll get like your first major uh, scrolls. All right, it's like a pick me scroll. And so at that point is when you can um, kind of choose your, your character at that point. Um, you're not necessarily guaranteed a five star. I was really lucky, I think, just to grab one. Um, and so I got three MRs. But uh, you can always re-roll, so you can go into your account and essentially start over um, and try for a, a different monster. But yeah, uh, come back and let me know what uh, what monsters your choices. All right, so this one, my I am not high enough to do quick battle, so let's take her out. Uh, let's get get Colleen up here. Or not Colleen, Epicon Priest. My skills. Werewolf dead. Get her squishy. Their summoner is almost dead. Am I stunned right now? Hold on. How can I move? Or am I just on auto? Yeah, well, that was easy. Couldn't tell if I was on auto or not. Battle statistics. Yeah, Efrit carrying. Okay, so I get battle points, enter the arena to earn points, and obtain rewards with accumulated rewards. And then I get arena coin. It can be used in the arena shop. Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, Joss, for filling in. I, uh, Junkrat, you were asking about the different characters. Yeah, so you've got Orbia, which is the mage character, like Josh said, probably highest EPS. You've got, um, Khalif here, the orange-haired. He's more of a tank character. Um, and then you've got Charlotte. Or not Charlotte. <laughs> based off of Charlotte's design from the game. Um, uh, Kina is her name. She's more of support uh, with some damage. So kind of what playstyle you want. I'm typically like tank characters whenever I play games. So that's why I went with Khalif. Plus I think Khalif's design is just awesome. But yeah, if you're looking for more DPS, the majority of people are probably going to be picking Orbia. All right, so how many tokens? I got I got eight more. Cool, let's go quick battle. So just like in Sky Arena game, um, just kind of go through your arena every day. I'm sure you get more of these tokens here. Yeah, you get recharges. I'm not sure how fast these recharge. Yeah, all the designs are pretty cool. So just kind of whatever your play style is, go for that. It's kind of sad that this is uh, auto. I don't see why this can't be manual. Just sit here and watch my team fight. Battle proceeds automatically in the brawl arena. So I'm guessing in regular PvP, it's going to be manual.
I was clicking, yeah, Josh, I was clicking the cross swords and it feel like it wasn't changing it. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try one more time here. Um, that'll start. I was clicking, maybe I have to actually click M or on the keyboard or whatever. Battle proceeds automatically. Yeah, see, I keep clicking it. Maybe it's the other type of arena, the PvP arena, that it lets you turn that off. I'm definitely clicking it, but I think it's just auto turned on for me. <laughs> Yay, the emotes. We got the MRs in here? Got the MRs? That's sad. This one's actually done the most damage to me so far. No, you're good, man. I think, the, yeah, there's going to be this arena, which is just against uh, a static, you know, static defenses, kind of like the original game. And I don't think I've unlocked the PvP arena yet. All right, we'll, uh, we'll pause there on the arenas. That's good to know. So that'll be one of those daily things. Just hop through the arena, get your tokens. Um, There should be a shop that is dedicated to the arena. Yep, it's down here. So we got another battle pass for the arena. We got sky stones. These were upgrade materials. Got some more of these magic ones. That's good. And of course, the premium one. We'll see. We'll see what money is being spent. Meet the arena merchant in Castlin. We actually have to go to him. Boo. Okay, so this is the arena shop merchant. So I've only got 30 right now. Well, what can we buy in here? 10,000 for emojis, outfits, battle magitech board, a ride. Oh, wow. Yeah. Of course, cosmetics. That stuff comes late game. Four star, five star rainbow mons. Those will definitely probably be good. Legendary scrolls for a thousand once per month, though. So, let's see. I do have Galleon tokens. I don't know how good he is. Uh, Devilmons, I think, will be worth it. I think. I think top priority, from what I am gathering, is going to be Devilmons first, once per week. Um. At only 300, the Mystical Scrolls aren't bad. Legendary Scroll is definitely uh, enticing. Um, depending on how much Breath of Life we get from the dungeons, that might be good. And then I think the 5-star Rainbow Mons might be good. Yeah, so like, I would say Devilmon first priority. Probably Rainbow Mon next priority. And then, and then we could go for one of the scrolls. But, gotta grind out the arena. What do we sell here? Just sell general stuff. Can't sell. Just sell pretty much anything. Well, of course we'll hold on to everything until we figure out what's good and what's not good. Uh, Trial of Ascension. That's next. Let's go try that out. We're at 180 minutes, boys. Battle pass, daily challenges. Cool. Adventure records. 
think I might almost be up to another 10 pull. All right, so let's go see the Trial of Ascension, see how that works. Some more crystals, see how our skills are going. I don't really have much options. Let's do, let's level up this one again. I like that one, wind double attack. More creatures, all right. Ascension Keeper a Zillion. All right, so we're going to climb, and then it looks like he's got a buy-sell. He's a shop, too. Okay. So, two Ascensions. All right, so this is kind of like Prove Yourself all the way up the tower. Other games have similar... Uh, Similar mechanics. Ooh, cinematic. Enter the Trial of Ascension. Alright, so we've got like overall, looks like account stats maybe. Maybe just character stats. Alright, so we've got floor one. see where's the top i'm guessing it goes to 100 floors that's what sky arena game is oh wow it goes past dang the 200 that's 200 all right you get devilmon at the top and you get knight's shield oh, a thousand of those and then there's also the hard version okay so there's normal and hard for each tower, it seems like. And rank one, man, he's already at 33. Heck. All right, so we're on floor one here. Let's go ahead and enter. Let's take our team here. What is this? Climb the tower consecutively. The battle will end when you lose. Oh, okay, yeah. That's um, auto. No, just autos you up the tower, which took way too long in the Sky Arena game to implement. Where is uh, where's everybody watching from? I know I've got some UK viewers. Now I've got a couple stateside viewers. All right, there's the first one. The next floor. I can okay, I can do a manual move here if I wanted to, but this will definitely be a grind fest, so I'll probably save the manual mode for higher higher floors. So we're getting materials for upgrading weapons. Have to skip. Is there, why would I want to reset DPS counting? 
able to see the DPS of an individual move. Nice, Josh. How's the, uh, how you faring with the hurricane? <laughs> Obviously it works, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> Do a couple more of these draw of ascensions. So Camera mode. Oh, I haven't seen this before. Auto mode, the camera will move automatically based on your third death position. Free mode, the player can adjust the camera the view they want. Top view mode, interesting. Let's check that out. This is floor four. We'll just do a couple more of these because I don't want to bore you guys to death. This is going to be a grind fest. I do want to check out the camera though. So free movement is just me moving it. I didn't like auto and then there's top down. Top down doesn't, there's no controlling the camera. Auto does like its own thing. It'll like swap, it'll like turn around. I don't really like that. I think free mode, especially for, well, maybe auto for trial of ascension stuff and anything that's auto. But if I'm manualing something, I definitely want to be on the free mode. Nice, Josh. <laughs> I'm glad. I don't like that one. It's not too, too bad. We got to floor five, we will uh, exit there. So we are getting some of these night shields. We have 262 of them. Let's go to the shop guy, see what he offers. See what we need to be focusing on. Okay, so there is, okay, these are the powers. Okay, so this is kind of like some skill tree stuff here. Summoner defense. Okay, so this is, if you played Sky Arena, these are like your towers in Sky Arena. So you level up your towers over time. I literally, like, just last week finished leveling up all of my towers after, like, seven years of play. And I have been grinding hard. So not sure how long it'll take to get all of these done. But your towers in Sky Arena, as well as it looks like this, is just a, a flat buff to everybody. Or, or to Summoner HP... Summoner defense. Let's see. Summon power. Monster HP. So these are all monster stuff. So if you're like, you know, you can kind of choose your attack tower, your defense, or your HP tower and your defense tower. Let's see, alchemy. Um, so if you want to increase healing. Uh, recovery. These are both recovery. Summoner recovery versus monster. Okay, summoner recovery versus monster recovery. Okay. Summoner recovery received. Monster recovery received. Okay, this is given. So summoner, monster, and this is received. So all the healing stats. And then we got... Oh my. Celestial power. Summoner damage dealt to fire. Summoner damage dealt to wi water. Okay. So these will all just be the different the different ones. Different elements. Okay. Summoner damage taken. I'm guessing these are going to be monster. Yeah. Monster damage taken from and given. Okay. 
So this is all pretty self-explanatory. We want to climb the tower as high as we can, as often as we can when it resets. So that way we can get points towards our Tower of Ascensions, is what they're calling them. It looks like there's different level of tokens, too. All right, cool. Let's go back to the shop guy. I feel like... I would hate to think that we spend the same tokens in the shop. All right, let's do buy. Okay. Oh, there goes my mouse. Let's plug them back in. Knew that would happen. All right. So I don't know why I would use these tokens, though. They're all cosmetics. And then except for Beast Monk, Unagami. This is a ride, though. Increases move speed when riding. That's pretty cool. 100,000. So were those the same tokens? All right, so there's the Dark Tower over there as well. I probably won't be grinding those on stream. Maybe a little bit each time. So these, yeah, these also require the same thing. There it is. <laughs> Knew it was coming. I think I'll be able to do it. There we go. Be able to mute the bot. All right, cool. All right, so it looks like it's the same tokens used for both the Trial of Ascension um, or the Power of Ascensions as well as the shop. So that's kind of sad. But really, the only thing of value in the shop right now. Let's look again. I mean, maybe tokens. The ride seems pretty cool. Tokens seem okay, or uh, or the summoning pieces seem okay. Only five per week. We'll have to see how much of the uh, the tower tokens we actually get. All right, let's talk to him again. Get this quest done. Trial of Ascension menu is now unlocked. Okay, so we can go straight to the Trial of Ascension. All right, cool. So I can just get it from the menu now. All right, let's go talk to Gurf. How to cooperate. I cooperated. Alright, what, what is this store? Guild store. Okay, so we got guild points. We have no guild points yet. Alright, so another store. Skystones uses equipment and rune enhancement. I feel like Skystones are probably going to be useful. Light and Dark Scrolls, 10,000. To be fair, though, right now it doesn't seem like some of the Light and Darks are that great. So, I know these can be alluring, but a legendary pickaxe and a lucky pickaxe. So, mining speed increases, yeah. We haven't done any mining yet. 
So there is a lot of summoner equipment down here. Harvest gloves, gathering speed. That's not actual armor, but rather just like picking bushes and stuff. And bait used in fishing. Do some fishing at some point. Oh, we got camels. Nice. All right. So that's guild shop. He's just sending us to all the different places. Moving to find Garen. Exchange Center. All right. Leap is level 20. I'm moving right up. Try trading items with the Exchange Center. Okay, trade using special currencies in the exchange center. Should we find out more? Yes. You can trade items with the Rahil guards at the exchange center. You need Rahalids in order to purchase. Okay. Is this like a marketplace with other summoners? Yeah. The marketplace. Interesting. So you need crystals to sell things. Or no. Yeah. You need crystals to buy and sell things. Okay, I don't have any rally. Let's go look at buying items. Interesting. Nobody is... It looked like... Some people are selling... Rune enhancement stuff. Goodbye. <laughs> A hundred for two hundred or for twenty thousand. You take your pick. Well, this marketplace is going to be a whole a whole deal, isn't it? Okay, so that's that. Who else we gotta go see? We're going to Tesca. I think it's a, a new place. Count level up. Did I get a new ride just now? What is that? Ride speed move up. Okay, so my ride's a little faster now. That's nice. All right, resuming the search for this necklace. You go find leader mint. Find a dock. So we're going to go to dock. Make sure to collect all your stuff every week. Venture records. I have to get the be uh, the penny. I have to buy the penny uh, bundle just to get that. All right, so we went to the, the docks, the sky docks, and now we're heading up to Tesca, one of the other uh, locations here in the world. Nice, yeah, there it is. So these are the Galagon people though, so I guess these are the peaceful ones. Pretty cool. We gotta go talk to Mint. Okay. 
So we're in Act 2 now, so that's good. I would like to care, but there's just so much to read. So I need some water weapons. Try switching to the water weapon, yep. So, auto-equip. Because we're about to go get some wind stuff, so... Yeah, we got our water weapon now. Or wait, we already... Yeah, this is the better water weapon. So I already had a better one. I haven't gotten a better wind weapon yet, though. And eventually we'll need a fire one. Let's open up some of these. We do have 16 scrolls. We could probably do a 10 pull. See what we get. Let's do it. Let's do a 10 pull. We'll start out with a uh, temple of unknowns. Any more Shannons? Nope. No Shannons. Let's do a 10 pull on the mysticals. Looking for orange or purple. Not a rip. Please give me Shannons, though. I'll take Shannons. There we go. What we wanted to see. Ooh, dark Garuda. Cool. Nice. All right. Got some Shannon pieces. That's good. Got some more people in the monster book. So definitely be claiming your monster and your creature book because it gives you um, stats, stat bonuses. So we got new monsters in Tesca now. And these are not necessarily monsters that you can get as, like, summoning. They're just, you know, your regular MMO monsters. Alright. Alright, we are heading to the Sakal Desert. That's cool. Nice artwork. So far, like the uh, the art team, as usual, at Com to us has kind of killed it. They've done an awesome job. It's one of the things that's kept Sky Arena so healthy. It's the art team. Nice. The purple Galligans. Those are the bad ones. What's up, Ed? I need Field Sandman's Tears. So we got acquired Tears from the Sandman. At least, at least the uh, attack doesn't stop you from, uh, from completing the objective there. Good old Ed. So far, Ed's my favorite NPC. Q. 
cue the uh, classic flute desert music. So I did get some Shannon tokens. I don't know if I was... What do I need for this again? Ah. Oh. Okay, so I need 10 skill points to level up one skill, and it's a random enhance. Okay. So... Okay, so 10 skill points or 10 uh, of her pieces towards one skill up. I wonder if it's more pieces for four stars and five stars. What do we get? Oh, I got Water Vagabond. Cool. Cleef level up. Okay, so that's the stories here. Rahil Kingdom stories, chapter three. Oh, got to claim these water scrolls. That's what that is. So they want us to do area exploration, Tesca exploration. All right, so we got to do a couple of these first. This guy looks badass. Alright, so we gotta do a couple of these tasks. So we are now in Tesca, so we can start collecting Tesca rewards. Thief of the White Moon. That's a cool name. I gotta complete the area exploration. So there's a lot of um, mining out here, it looks like, so... I'm gonna go ahead and eat my lunch a little bit here. Vagabond's Water Growth Box. Guess that'll be in here. Cool. Okay, it just gives me XP. That's good. So I don't have to use it on the Vagabond. I doubt he's that good. Especially not right now. Because in theory, you know, the Theomars isn't that good in this region. Because uh, water doesn't do well against wind. Or no, wait, these are fire. These are fire people out here. 
Oh no, the MRs is good. Yeah, they're red, so let's be fine. I don't know, when I saw Tesca, I first thought, like, wind. Got any more? Oh yeah, we got plenty of points here. Um, oh no, I do not want to reset. So these are resets. Um, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, but I definitely do want more passive abilities, though. Let's do more of the fire research. Uh, let's do one of those. Let's do more water research. There we go. Am I currently? Yeah, I'm currently using water. You can tell everything's blue here on my skills. Now they go kill some foxes. have another rune I could put there. I don't think I've gotten any two-star runes yet. Probably gonna get some two-stars from the dungeons in Tesca. I think the part that I'm most excited for is the, the team building aspect later on in dungeons. Starving archers. Ultimate. I wanted to use my ultimate. Well, I guess other people can come and help out when you're, uh, just like other games. Guard runes, those will increase my defense. Alright, we're going to the silent cave. Ooh, there we go. We got some two star fatal runes. That'll be good to put on Theomars. And typically, like, uh, Shannon or like the uh, the support slash, you know, tank characters you want to put, stuff like guard, uh, energy runes, even endurance runes. Or indoor runes. But my Theomars here is supposed to be main attack damage, so. I really haven't leveled anybody else up, so this should be alright. Team power, 25. Confirm settings. 
I don't know. That's uh, 17. We're getting up there. We may have to level up a, a decent water, another water character. Maybe Colleen. We'll get Colleen up. And she has the attack buff. Oh man, we're just powering through the story. We didn't pull anything crazy. We are in Tesca though, which is the second region. Kind of the, the desert region. Lots of fire monsters. Okay, creatures in the cave. Dang, yeah, you did not fit in there, did you? I don't know what that debuff is, the one with the target? I don't think I've ever seen that debuff. As we approach it, quickly defeat the enemies in this sector to calm down the creature. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're gonna defeat these guys. Dang, nice. I don't know what's in that barrel. Oh, it's just an explodey barrel. Oh, I could have exploded these. Alright, so we calm down those people. So they're not gonna pop out now. So same thing here. Alright, the MRs. Let's wreck them. Hmm, watch out for bombs. Okay. This is the auto. I want to get off the auto camera. Free camera. Cool. Got a chest here. There's not much gold. I gotta go around here. Yeah, it's around here. Maybe. Yeah. All right, what do we got? I came out and get this guy real quick. Name is Mate Neo Galligan. All right. I need to spawn a bunch more. Oh, we have uh, silence on. Yeah, we have silence on right now. There we go. The silent debuff doesn't let us do our skills. Right up. It's gonna put a silence back on us. Yeah. 
Nice. All right. We got some two-star guard runes. That's good. We'll put those guard runes on. Aura of Rebellion has been unlocked. That is in the... This is just for XP. Cool. Is it Trial of Ascension that she just said? Collected some leaves. Foxes. Okay, so the skills they carry over from each element. Passives will be really important. Gather, gather, gather. Subjugation. Burn the trees down. You got rogues. Unugami. New dungeon of growth. Subjugation. Oh, this will be easy. We do have some good available rewards here, though. Rasslin do blunt weapon, two star shield, two star earrings. Whoa. Isn't that Cleef? Yeah, that's me.
All right, let's get him. <laughs> the uh, skeletons have the uh, Call of Duty zombies sound. What they sound like. Alright, so I did get some earrings. I don't have any earrings. So that is the subjugation dungeon. I'll be saving my crystals. Alright, so we got new earrings. So let's equip the earrings. What do they give me? Just more HP. Cool, cool. Faint Magic Core, a core containing faint magic power that is often used in Magitech research. All right. Level 16. Hmm, okay. Gotta count skills. You get one skill point every time your count levels up. Enhance the skills that I want. Okay. Nice. Skill tree not as bad as Path of Exiles, but almost there. Increases summoner's defense. Increases summoner's attack. Well, I'm probably going to lean into the defense as a tank character. How many do I have? I have one more. 4%. Monster defense. I don't do monster defense. Oh, I do have. Oh, that's just two out of 94. I see. I have unused points down here. I kind of want to go the monster route mostly because I can I can dodge. If it gets really hard, I can dodge my character around my summoner. But my monsters just sort of sit there. I'm sure someone's gonna figure out the meta way to build this. We'll start with that. Do a little bit of summoner defense. And we'll do we'll get a little bit of this. And then we'll get the percentage. Percentage is typically better in most cases. Let's do monster attack as well. This will be a good line though, your monster line definitely want to go down this line. Yeah, I definitely want to go down the monster attack line, monster crit damage line, crit rate line. I don't care too much about my summoner uh, attack. It's not his job. Okay, cool. That was quite an interesting noise that person just made. 
Oh, that's my guild. What's happening contribution wise? Oh, I did get stuff. Yep, 300. Okay. Where am I at? That's me. 742 daily contribution. I'm Batman. Doing good. Enhance. That's PvP. I'm not going to be changing monsters too much. Charges up mana to 9. Yes, please. I want more mana. Evasion skill. Evasion skill. Charges mana every four seconds. Let's do that one. Everything with mana. I want my creatures using their skills as often as possible. That's the ultimate gauge. Revive. Main weapon attribute change. Mostly the dungeons have been pretty one uh, element. All right, let's look at some of these other ones. Recovery. This is good. I do provoke enemies a lot. Resistance. This is just straight up defense. Let's do straight up defense percent. Seems good. Uh, resistance is good, so we don't get those uh, debuffs. Evasion is pretty good, just so you get out of the way. Nice. Okay. Oh, I have a new shield. Desert Heat Shield. It is significantly better. Well, we are equipping that. Let's give it a couple enhancements. Just a couple. I don't want to waste too many of these early on. Okay. So five. Let's see, it's four. Let's go to six so we get one more stat. I think, yeah. There we go. So nice. Yeah. So defense and resistance. Those are good for tank. I would imagine, I'm not sure which stats are possible. Storage. Okay, yeah, account storage. Um, I don't need the name ticket. Um, I have a decent amount of space in here. I don't know what this thing is again. I don't think I need it yet. All right, we got these potions too. We haven't really used. We'll eventually store runes as well. Yeah. Okay, get the weekly challenge. the notifications on your phone just gotta get rid of them oh hold up 
You just find these out here in the wild. Recovery potions, nice. All kinds of ore out here. Let's figure out what all that's for. Land of Surveillance. I'll speak that, um, but I was able to put it into translate. Um, hopefully, you're able to be able to download the game. I don't know what region you're from, because right now it's just the U.S. and Canada region, along with Korea. Cactus. This is where the Devilmons would come in. I do have Angelmons. That brings him to 45. Definitely worth it on him. You never go wrong dumping stuff into your, your five stars. Another Misty. Wonder how many we have. We have enough for another temple yet? Nope, just seven. Repeat quest can be unlocked on the quest page. Ah, repeat quests. Okay. Complete. What is this? Dwarvic runes up here? Um, complete creature hunt requests from each region and obtain rewards. Cool. Orders are required to receive repeat. Okay, yeah. So I need those tokens. I've been getting those tokens. So. This is Breath of Life. I get one, though. Normal XP and then money. 
the Rudolin as well. An arena ticket. It's pretty nice, I guess. Breath of Life there. And so these are the repeat ones. Again, you can just put all these on auto, so... It's kind of cool, but at the same time, it's like... I don't know. Could get kind of boring in some cases. Like I was saying earlier, I'm really interested in the team building aspect of this later. Like, getting a bunch of people leveled up. So I can build some cool teams. Let's see, let's do... Yeah, do the ultimate gauge. Nice. We got Shannon, Theomaras, Epicon Priest. Alright, guys. I think I'm going to call it there. We've been streaming for a little over four hours now. Uh, I might get on later. Uh, I have one of my good friends, some of those worst guy arena friends, hopping on later uh, after work. Um, so they're a uh, like a G1, G2 uh, PvP arena player in Sky Arena, so hopefully he'll be able to bring some good insight into this game as well. But yeah, I think we're going to pause it there. Um, if you haven't already, I appreciate you, know, you guys coming in and, and watching with me. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I'm glad we were able to answer some questions. Congrats to everybody that pulled all the things that they were pulling today. I think we had a Dark Monkey King. We were looking for a Lucian. Um, so it was some really cool pulls today. But yeah, um, if you're going to uh, look out for me in the future, I'll be be back on in the future here real, real soon, probably tomorrow, if not later today. Make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button so you guys can see you know, when I go live. I'll also be making content on YouTube, so... Um, we'll be looking at some tier lists, we'll be looking at some guides, uh, especially when we get into the dungeons. I'm really excited for team building guides, so appreciate you guys for coming, and uh, we'll see you guys later.